replace values with something uh, which we can replace anything like say i don't want a revenue buy to show up here so i can just select this column okay i can use this replace values and just type in whatever value you wanted to replace just like uh, it's the same way it works in Excel, right? So I can just select this and type in something. Let's say I don't want anything. I can leave it empty. Okay. Or else uh, I can change it to sales rather. Product sales, right? Something like that. Sales pipe or maybe I would want it to. So I'm not going to the get data. Rather, I'm using new source, which is similar to the get data from the Power BI Power Query Editor. And uh, I'm just going to pull this Excel file, which is on my desktop, right? I'm going to pull this financial sample. So already uh, the financial sample uh, has some issue with the data where I've added some division by zero scenario. Okay. So there would be an infinity scenario in one of the columns. and just show you that. So as you can see, uh, there are already a couple of errors showing up in the sales and COGS, right? So these are the errors that are showing up. So basically what I've done in my Excel file is I've just uh, divided by zero. I just mentioned it as div uh, a number divided by zero so that it is basically an infinity, right? So this is the error. So whenever you have errors in your data, it will highlight using this red color. Okay, as you can see, every other column is a green and a bit of gray while here you got a red color that shows you like how much percent if you over on that, it will tell you how much percentage is basically that error is. So uh, of course, there are very less errors. Less, that's why it's saying less than 1%. Right? Then on. So you can uh, check that and deal with. So what you can do is, so you wanted to replace this error. In this case, you can directly come here, transpo, uh, transform and select this replace errors and simply, it will not ask what error to replace it right? because wherever you have error, it will ask you to replace with something. Since it's a, a number, right? Sales is going to be a numeric value. So I'm going to replace it with a zero. If it was a text, right? I would replace it with a not applicable or whatever a naming convention I can use for there. Click on OK. So automatically this is replaced. So wherever you have that, it will be resolved. You can do the same thing with the other uh, column because you can see there are two errors. So you can use the same thing. Replace errors. Mention it as zero. Con. OK. The errors will be replaced. So now you can see the color is also changed to green. You don't have any red. So this is how you, uh, we use a replace errors in the Power Query Editor.